the beds. So we're going to do a couple of demonstrations just to see how it actually feels on the skin with the vacuum, the depth of penetration and with the different hand pieces. So we're going to start off with the facial contour for the gel area. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply some glycerin to our skin first. So with the glycerin, we're only ever going to use a tiny, tiny amount. So it's just like a smear of glycerin on the skin. So like that, just a very, very light smear. So now I'm going to apply my FC applicator to the handpiece. Okay, so Caroline, I'm going to start off by heating up all the levels of your skin with a mold fork to get the deepest penetration, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a back fork, so the vacuum level will be quite high. And then we're going to put the radio frequency, the heat and the energy at a radio frequency level of about 0.23, okay? And we're going to the vacuum level at 4 and the ORF. I'm going to start her off at three just to see how it feels on the skin. So Caroline, how does that feel? It's warm. Warm? Mm -hmm. Pinchy or anything? No. Not yet. Right, perfect. So that's just more like a little test patch on the area. Just to let her see the vacuum and the heat. So now I'm going to move on to the ST, the skin tightening for the face. So generally when we're doing the face, we'll mark out the area so the eyes will be a separate protocol. So we're just going to do the lower jawline area today. So there's not very many gels that you can actually use with the Viora reaction. So it's a luminous gel, it's very specific because sometimes what can happen is the gel can get into the handpiece and it actually stops the handpiece from working correctly. So now I'm just going to apply some of the luminous gel to Caroline's skin. So we'll always make sure that the gel is nice and thick on the skin. We just really make sure that the client is a lot more comfortable. Okay, so depending on the clients, there's three different protocols that we can reduce for the face. If it was somebody that has premature aging, so if they were say from in their 20s to 30s, we have a protocol for that. Somebody with the age of their 45, we would have a different protocol for that skin type. And then from somebody in their say from 50s to 70s we would have a totally different protocol as the skin would be a lot lot more thinner at that age group. So we're going to start Caroline off here on mode 4 and this would generally be for the patch test. We're going to raise the radio frequency. So they're at 22, so I'm going to let her feel it at 22 and then I'm going to work my way up to see what heat level she can actually tolerate on the skin. Can the stuff good? Right. right, so I'm going to raise it up, say to about 32. Feel okay? Yeah. Go a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to raise it up to 42. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what kind of sensation are you feeling on the skin? I'm just really feeling you're putting a hand piece on. Okay. Take it up another 10. How does that feel? Small bit of heat. Small bit of heat. So it's recommended that we start on the facial areas anywhere from roughly about 62 to 66 to achieve the benefits of the treatment. With radio frequency, if we treat too low and we don't maintain the heat, we're not going to have any impact with the treatment. So where we want to be is creating an amount of heat, say, from 40 degrees centigrade to about 50 degrees centigrade to have the very right safe stimulators in the skin. If we treat beyond 50, that's where we could actually do damage to the skin. So you need to be very, very careful on the degrees that you're treating the client on. Caroline is now at 70 degrees, 70 joules there on the machine. That would be Caroline's patch test performance. Now, as I said, we need to keep the temperature of the skin between 40 to 50 degrees centigrade to achieve the stimulations in the skin, like your fat cell metabolism, your low-grade inflammatory response, your angi angionosis, 
So we're creating all those factors in the skin. As I said, it's really, really important. If we treat below 40, the treatment will have no effect. 